What's going on guys, Cecil here, welcome to back of today, we'll show you how to fly in survival mode in this game. So let's get start. But first let me show you how to fly in creative, you just double tap the space button and that's it, you can fly, that's the easiest thing ever. Flying in creative is the easiest thing in the history of existence, like seriously, I could make a tutorial like this every day, all day. But yeah, flying in the survival mode is gonna be a little bit trickier than just double tapping the space button, it's gonna be a little bit harder, uh, as you could probably tell. So uh, yeah, today I will show you how to do it. So uh, yeah, let's get right to it. The first thing you wanna do is to kill that squid, uh, It's not. it has nothing to do with flying in the survival mode, I just fucking hate squids, that's just the basically it i just hit them and want to kill them all they were exactly exactly what i'm talking about anyways yeah the first thing you really want to do is to find a high place a little bit high uh, you know you don't really need to get into a tower or something but just a uh, top of a mountain or a top of uh, a tree is gonna be suitable whatever so i think for example right here is gonna be suitable to start our experiment so if you're in survival and you want to do this you gotta go into a top of a high place so a mountain is gonna be the best choice for you Alright, so this tree is going to be our set off, but now let me just get off the tree so that I will do the crafting and stuff. So what you are do, so first of all, you will need to get yourself a crafting table. There we go. You will also need a lot of paper, so let me just get 64 of these, okay, 64 papers. You will need a lot of papers, but it's not exactly 64, just get as many as you could. You will also need gun powders all right so uh, yeah you will also need a lot of these so get 64 or something you, you will need a ton of these that's what i'm trying to say now what you want to do is to place the crafting table on that you know, place only one crafting table you don't need to place a bunch of them just one of them and it's gonna be all good now all you gotta do is to open the crafting table place a bunch of gunpowders like that and a bunch of papers like that and you will get a ton of fireworks and those fireworks do not explode at all they're, ju they're just fireworks that are completely pointless when it comes into the point of the fireworks existence themselves because they do not explode like let me just show you real quick there you go as you can see i placed the firework okay i can't see anything from this stupid tree let me just do it one more time there we go exactly as you can see the firework just goes into another dimension and does nothing at all probably it keeps going up until it reaches i don't know the, uh, another universe or something and yeah that is exactly what you're going to need you're gonna need a firework that does not explode it just goes into another dimension yeah you do not want a firework that explodes because that's not gonna work or it will but it's not gonna work well for you I can't help but wondering what the hell is this I'm holding right now. Ink sack? What the hell? Oh yeah, I got it from that uh, squid that I killed. Okay, never mind. The next thing you want to do is to get yourself an Elytra. Now this Elytra, if you want to get it legitimately in the survival mode, it's going to be extremely hard for you. But if you really want to do it, then here's what you want to do. You need to go into the Ender World by making an end portal and then go to the Ender World and you need to defeat the fucking dragon and end the entire game. As you guys might already know, after you, after you defeat the dragon, you will end the game, right? And the credits will roll down. After you defeat the dragon, you need to go to somewhere called the End City. It's something that was added lately in the version 1.11 or something like that. And you will need to find the chip and you will find this Elytra right uh, in, a, in some sort of a picture or a frame photo or something. Then you will get this too long looking thing right there and you will find it in a photo frame you get it before it disappears and that's it that's how you get it in the survival mode if you want my opinion though it is not worth it it's not worth all this effort like you're gonna kill an entire dragon and end the entire game and make the credits roll down and then go and look for it in the freaking end city just so that you can obtain it like fuck that like seriously that's just too much effort and it's not it's not really worth it so just get it from the creative mode and you will be fine so uh, yeah that's just my opinion it's not worth it but if you're up for the adventure then go right ahead do all that anyways let me just set the time into day because i hate night and it's almost night right now okay that that sun did not change what the hell and get, let me just get some food right there there we go 64 steaks and now let me go into the survival and let's see how the flying is gonna work out so uh, yeah let's get right to it so what you're gonna want to do is to get yourself into the top of the high place i was talking about i was talking about a mountain or something but yeah this is gonna do mighty fine so yeah just get into the top of that place in the survival mod and then you're gonna have to wear this elytra in that chest right there now it doesn't really make sense because he actually wears it in the back but yeah just put it in the chest and it will automatically make it in the back that's how this game works nowadays now what you want to do is to hold the rockets like that like i said you will need a lot of rockets i made a bunch of them but you don't really need that much you just need a little bit of a high number so uh, yeah just hold the rockets you, you'll need something like 12 or 26 something like that so make as much as this anyways yeah what you want to do is to hold the rockets that you made like that and then let's get right to it i'm kind of nervous because i don't know i just feel like i'm gonna jump in real life why, why am i nervous all right let's do it guys yolo yolo there, there we go and now what you want to do is to look upwards and make the firework go upwards and that's it you will actually keep flying for eternity it will never end you will you can just keep doing that for eternity as you can see i'm, I'm in the clouds right now and i'm flying 
as if I'm flying in creative. Just look upwards and keep making those freaking fireworks upwards and that's it now like i said before it will need to be fireworks that does not explode in air because if it is a firework that explodes in air it will explode right in your face and you will die okay i mean you won't die immediately but you won't die uh, you will die within two or three fireworks like literally so yeah that's gonna be a terrible way to die as a superman right i mean you're technically superman right now you are superman flying in the freaking air so it's gonna be kind of a lame way for a superhero to die like that exploded himself in the mid-air like what the fuck and yeah man that's how you fly like literally that's all but that's how you fly and it's really really entertaining by the way uh this might sound weird but this is actually more entertaining than flying in the creative because you are ex you are a little bit fast and it seems a little bit like it's, it's a really cool way to explore the world really anyways yeah that's how you fly in the survival mode in this game and the length of the flight is going to be depending on how many fireworks you have so if you have a lot of fireworks then the flight is going to be for a long time and yeah that's how you fly in the survival mode and that's all let's end the video by landing straight into the ground and see what's gonna happen of course that's gonna happen of course